Hello friends, welcome to my tutorials of hybrid automation technologies. This is your friend Vilas Patil here. Today I am using uh, Amsom Ocean's uh, USB PPI cable here. Okay, uh, and I am going to show you how to use that cable to program AS7200 PLC using the Steps and Microlin software. Hello friends, uh, for programming the AS7200 PLC, we are using the cable of this. Uh, Amsa Motion USB PPI cable. One end is uh, one end is connected to this PLC S7200. The CPU number is CPU224. Here you can see, and another end is connected to the CPU. Okay, this is the industrial <coughs> industrial adapter interface link in okay, USB to PPI cable. Okay. Now, first of all, we have to check the cable either it is been connected or not. Go to manage and in device manager, check this. Hello, friends. Let's check the connection of the PLC. Here you can see uh, here M plus and L plus is there, M and L plus is there. Here, ground M and L plus is there, and one more thing. 1M, 1L plus is there. Okay. Here at the M terminal, you have to connect a negative terminal or zero voltage terminal. At the L plus, you have to connect plus 24 volt supply. Here also, at the M end, negative, L end, positive. Similarly, for the connection, for the connection, we have to connect here M terminal to M terminal. We have to connect negative uh, supply at all the M terminals, and for input providing the input, we have to connect a positive terminal to these input terminals. Okay, when we test the uh, positive supply here, the input will appear at the LEDs. Okay, for uh, making the program, we have we are using here one industrial adapter and interface link is there this is usb to ppi uh, cable here we are connecting this one to this one to plc okay after connection we'll check in the system side Okay, now here I am going to connect the cable. Okay, now this is the cable which I have connected and it is being connected to COM4. And now open this Steps and Microwin software. Okay, now we have to set the PGPC interface. Now we can check here uh, PC PPI cable PPI. Uh, click on properties, and now we have to select the proper port to which the cable is being connected, and click OK. Now we are going to upload the program from PLC to PC. Okay, now it is selected. That it, and it is showing that uh, CPU to the port is connected to the particular port. Now click on upload. Okay, friends, this is a program uh, which was uh, present in uh, PLC. Now we'll check the program and click on status of program. When I Trigger the I0.0 .0 input this input. Okay, output is going to be on and it will remain on continuously because we are using one parallel contact to this uh, input address. And after 10 seconds, we have used one timer here also. After 10 seconds, this T62 is going to be high. This output is going to be high, and that T62 uh, NC is used here just like a stop button. And one more stop button is also used here. Okay, now let's see the program 
uh, with this PLC working or not. Okay, friends, now you can check here. After clicking the start button, output is on. Now you can check the count also here. Okay, now it is off. In between, also, I will turn off the PLC. Okay, friends. Yes, in previous uh, video, I have shown how to download, sorry, how to upload the program from PLC to PC. Okay, first of all, we start with opening the Steps and MicroWin software. Okay, uh, to download the program, we have to first develop our program here. Okay, this is the first input i0.0 and normally close contact that is i0.1 and one timer i'm going to use and the address will be for that t37 and one output coil i'm going to take here q0.0 to keep this output in on condition i'm going to use one latch that is called normally open contact to the start button parallel to the start button address of that will be same as the output and it is connected upward okay when i trigger this input q0 is going to be on and it is going to be on in condition on, on condition continuously when i trigger i i1 uh, it is going to be off and when t37 is high it is going to be off okay now let's take the timer here for that the timer should work when q0.0 is high and t on timer here i am taking address will be same t37 and preset value will be 10 sorry 50 for 5 second because the time uh, base value is uh, uh, for t37 to t36 that is 100 millisecond means 100 by 1000 will be uh, 1 0.1 if you multiply 50 with 0 0.1 we'll get a answer as a 5 okay now when after 5 second q0 is going to be off okay when uh, q0 is turned off we have to generate one pulse okay for that purpose i will take one q0 0 normally upon contact okay one falling is trigger i have to take here okay P stands for positive positive H trigger and N stands for negative H trigger. Okay. Now I will take one output coil with an X address that is Q0.1 to keep this output in our, on in our condition continuously. I have to take one more latch here for the same address of output and I will connect this line to upwards. Okay. It is going to be on after 5 seconds and to turn it off I am going to take one normally close contact with the next input address that is i0.2 okay this is the program now let's set the pgpc interface okay now select the pc ppi cable ppi okay and click properties here i have uh, connected the programming cable to the com port 4 okay now I'm going to say select a COM4 only here and click OK. Now compile the program and click on download. Here the wizard appears. Uh, download button is ready and click. Uh, here is it is showing that a CPU 224 RDL 02.00 is connected to the computer and click on download. Then you want to place the PLC in stop mode, click OK. For time being, the PLC is going to be in off condition, the uh, stop condition. Now put it in run mode. OK. Now let's check the status of program. OK. Now this is the status of program. Now I'm going to trigger the inputs externally. First I will trigger the i0.0 .0 and q0.0 .0 is going to be on. After 5 seconds, it is going to be off. You can check here, the time count is going on. 
it's off and I can check here Q0.1 is high when I trigger I0.2 output is going to be off got it okay friends thank you for watching my video and keep watching my video and please subscribe and like to my channels and please uh, do motivate me and I will keep on uploading such wonderful videos and uh, if you need any help uh, please write to me that is my email id is vilaspatil.triple at gmail.com thank you for watching my videos please subscribe to my channel